Hello everyone, I'm Silver Raptor and welcome back to another War Game Red Dragon Deck Creations video where we will go and make another deck that one of you subscribers had requested and one says a plain old blue dragon deck. Well, I don't have that currently in my Blue 4 Nation repertoire, so let's go and make a blue dragon deck. So we'll just be the, uh, let's just call them the blue dragons. And I'll uh, put a little the in to make it more official. And we will, where are they? Here they are, the Blue Dragon, Japanese and South Korea. All right, so we will start off again in the logistics tab, which is typical. Get all of our supply and CVs all squared away. Uh, I, I do feel that South Korea will be more on the front line. So we'll have a South Korean fob right off there. Now, for CV, what do we want? Uh, not a helicopter CV, that would be terrible. Um, Nanasan Shiki. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little, this kind of shape is very CV ish. Uh, what is this? Uh, actually, pretty good. Okay, that might be worthwhile. What's about this Hancha Nishiki CV? Nope. Okay, so I think this will do. This could be definitely fool into thinking it's just a regular five point truck. We can't do this one because it's got an air conditioning unit on the front or something. And uh, only uh, important command people get air conditioning in their uh, vehicles. So enemies will be able to tell by the silhouette that this is definitely a command. Unit. So we'll get about five of these. Um, let's see. Do we want any? Uh, we could. Yeah, let's get some infantry, some Hanbu Hans. Well, let's compare Hanbu Han versus the Bombu. Uh, they are roughly the same. The Han Buhans have a further range main gun, but uh, than the Bon Bu. And we'll just it doesn't really matter. We'll just get the Han Buhans. Now supplies. We need to look at the supplies. We've got CH47Ds. 2,500 liters, not bad. Uh, Shirazaki, only 1,000. Uh, not the best. Um, cargo versus. Chugata cargo. Okay. So it looks like the South Korean supply is definitely more than the Japanese. They changed this. This used to be about the same, if I recall. Um, but, uh, yep, we will get these guys for a close, uh, close support fob supplier. And then, of course, the K511 cargo trucks. Infantry tab. Uh, let's get some infantry going in here. We have two mats. Oh, wow. 60% accuracy. That's not bad at all. Um, I don't know which we should get, but we'll get 10 of these just so that we remember. 21 AP power. Pretty significant. Uh, Habyungs. Um, well, the Habyung 90s are not bad. The problem is this LVTP7s don't come with the frag grenades. So... It does fall short a little bit, but they are 15-man squads. They've got pretty excellent stats here. Shock train. Um, they're the same armor, too. Okay, yeah. Uh, any difference in mount? Nope. Okay. We'll get a couple of those just for now. I'm going to delete these and put these in the HMV. Um... Uh, no, no, I'm not. I lied. Put those there. Okay. Gong Byungs, we don't want. Uh, Hudo Rens, they used to be uh, my go to at the start. Uh, downside is now that their long range gun isn't quite as powerful. 13 AP, that could take out some of the uh, uh, enemy um, uh, APCs if they try to get close to a village. But uh, I think we'll stay away from Hudo Ren from now. Uh, we have a choice between the Mistral and the 
stinger. And actually, the Mistral is just better. So we shall get the Mistrals. Which do we want? They can come in the K200. Double the gods. Or the KM900. Let's bring in the men in the K200s. And uh, these are just for fire support. Kutai! Uh, okay, there's 30 points. Elite trained compared to the Happy of 90s. I think the Happy of 90s are better. I mean, yeah, they have a slightly worse close quarters combat light machine gun and accuracy. And the main, gu main gun's not quite as accurate, but. There's still 15 man squads, and these are not bad stats. They also have a really killer RPG, so I think we're going to stick with the Kabyog 90s. Although, ooh, we could get Kiyu, uh, Roku, W8 PCs with frag grenades. Um, do you guys all have. So, this is the Rokovis rifle again. PSAMs! Ooh, hang, hold the phone here. PSAMs are cheaper. And they're more accurate, and they are longer range than normal Stinger missiles. I think we'll actually swap this out for some PSAMs. Okay, so we got that. Uh, so go to songs. Uh, no, not the... I mean, they're, they're pretty good for infantry. Ten points. Not bad. Uh, let's see here. Shiuchu, Buntai... 90s with Kiyu Roku WAPCs. I like that. Actually, I do like that. We'll get a card of those. We'll get rid of one of the happy on 90s. Uh, get back down here. Uh, UTT Seals. Let's compare them to happy on 90s. And um, yeah, running into basically the same problem. Um, I mean, they, they are better stats, well, at least for the main gun. The secondary gun is only longer range. Yeah, I think we'll stick with the Happy Oak 90s. Hippie guns. <laughs> Militia, how do they compare? Uh, no, not not good enough. Okay. Um, so we need to have one more card of stuff. Do we want So, so Chong Su 85s or Happy Oak 90s? Uh, well, the search on series can come in the KAFV or the KAFV 25. And the Heavy 90s cannot. We could get a nice auto cannon. Uh, let's compare with the Heavy 90s. Okay. So, a 20% M60. Eh, so that's just basic stunning. Laws with 16 AP power, though those can kill APCs. So that's not too bad. Um, these would be filling up. This would basically be filling up a spot, but we'd be bringing in auto cannons. Uh, let's compare them again to the Chuchu Buntai. Chuchu Buntai have the same stats of the light machine gun. They've got a, a lot better. Penetrating power and accuracy with Carl Gustav. Uh, you know what? Let's get one of each. Yeah. So we will put the uh, two mats over here, the P Sams over here as well. Yeah, we'll have them in this in the row. The Hobby Young 90s will be kind of our elite, or our, our better trained troops. Then we have the Shuju Buntai 90s and the Shosong Su's, which are basically our frontline filler up infantry that are supported well with some nice APCs in the back. All right, support tab. Let's get into this. Uh, it's looking through this right now. We do have some choice of mortars. Uh, what's the difference between these two? Speed, is that it? Is that the only difference between these two? I guess it is. Um, I won't worry about that right now. K9 Thunder, eh, it's okay. Um, closed arrows. I would. Closed arrows are definitely better than the Avenger because they have the longer range, but they still suffer a lot of the Avenger's uh, 
faults here. Ooh, IHOC pips. IHOC pips are definitely worth it. 3,325 meter range. We'll get five of them. Ooh, we could get 10 of them if we so want, but this is not a support deck. We can't just fill it up entirely. I think five IHOC pips would be all right. We definitely want short arrows. There are infrared long range AA. And we could get the KM163. They're not radar guided. But uh, we could get one of these instead. Uh, we already have. Wait, we already have pretty long range. Um, I don't think I would think if we get the radar AA here, or the gun tank and such, we would uh, basically be able to screen for the IHOC pips. But um, I think we'll actually just get the regular infrared here. These are fairly good uh, stunners. Unlike the closed arrow, these can stun when the missile's on the way, so they can survive through that. Uh, we definitely want some mortars. I wish this had the ability to smoke. I would get it in a heartbeat. And um, let's see, mortars, mortars, mortars. Uh, oh, this also has more armor. I think I'll just get the KM106. And now, is there any more support tab stuff that we want? I don't think so. We can always come back. We do have to be mindful of activation. This isn't just a single nation deck. So we do have less activation points. So let's look in here. We have our super heavy Kiyomaru Shiki. While it's not as heavily armored as some of the heavy tanks, it does have a nice gun with 12 rounds per minute. So it fires a lot faster than most other tanks around. The K1A1, definitely going to be supplementing up the Kiyomaru Shiki. Basically a, a, a really good version of the of a similar to the Abrams tank. It's uh, the M1A1HC, definitely good for its price. The K1 used to be the king of all tanks. They bumped up the price a bit, but still, it's uh, it's the equivalent of an M1A1 Abrams, and it's still cheaper. So we are going to be getting the K1, definitely a, a number of K1s. And now we will also be getting the Nani Yon, Nana Yon Shiki G tank with the frag grenades on top because really accurate gun killer infantry frag grenades is a little weak on the armor but it's just basically uh more gun than anything else and we will move on because we need to save on points let's see here uh hachi nana shikis are actually fairly good I'm not gonna lie those are pretty tempting um uh, Fiat, uh, with the frag grenades, uh, I mean, they're fun. Ooh, ninjas. We definitely want to get ninjas because of those lo fairly long-range infrared, but they're also good stealth, so they can fool, get close to uh, enemy helicopters fairly well, and especially with exceptional optics, these are a must-take. Uh, what are these guys? Uh, fairly good, but uh, do we need them? Uh, we don't need these guys. JSDF Rangers. We will get these in the Kiyoroku WAPCs because of that sniper rifle. We'll definitely help out in taking out enemy infantry. Now we could get OH6. Do we want to... Uh, oh. Okay, yeah. We'll get these guys. We can get five of them. KM900s. Uh, extra recon, always good to have. And then we'll round off with some Hachi Nanashikis with auto cannon support. Will definitely help us out. And how to organize? We will put the JSDF Rangers over there and the Hachi Nanashikis to the right. Okay, vehicles. I doubt I'll get anything if I memory recalls. The vehicles aren't very good. We get eye to toes and chew mats. And red suits, which are fun to use, but not the best. We'll move on. Helicopter tab. Um, we can get the AH-1S or the AH-1S. Which one do you think we should take, guys? The one that is slightly brown in color or the one that is slightly green in color? 
Uh, we will look at the other helicopters. As you can see, we can get the tow two on the AH-1T instead of the ITO. So we will get five AH-1T and we will get uh, 10 of the AH-1Js, which have the extra rocket pods and be able to kill infantry a lot better. And then we don't need to resort to AH-1S, at least not yet. Okay, time to look at airplanes. Now there's definitely one airplane we definitely want to have, and it's the KF-16C Block 52D. It's a seed plane, and they really cannot figure out what they want to do with this plane. It used to be in two cards, or, or, or one card, then it went down to two cards, and then back to one card. So they can't figure out, make up their mind. But now it's two cards, so we can bring in two of these. That will save us on activation points. Saber is fun for rockets, but we will look into more serious planes for right now. Uh, we can bring in a napalm. Uh, eight 340-kilogram bombs is all right. Uh, let's see what else we have. A lot of people get the Peace Feather, too. They're not all that good with that accuracy. I haven't really got them to work too well. We do need to have air superiority and getting hardened F-15Js. Definitely fairly good. Um, not a whole lot on different bombs. So we might have to get this out of necessity for the 340-kilogram bombs right there. And, uh, let's see, semi-active. And, uh... Let's uh, think. F1 was there. No, we already got the bombs we need. Oh, that's right! That is right! Okay, we're going to get rid of that plane. We're actually going to get to Peace Feather 1. They actually changed this to have 25 to 127 kilogram bombs. That's basically made this the... SU, what is it, SU-30 of the Blue 4, which has all the little little bombs that can kill a bunch of stuff that encounters it. As for planes, now there is the Peace Bridge and the KF-16C, and they they do have a little bit of their, each of their own shortcomings, but um, the, they each have their own role. The KF-16C is more for sniping, but the AMRAM missile takes a little while to reload and to acquire at some close range, that can kind of hurt it, whereas the Peace Bridge fires those AIM-9M missiles fairly fast, and so it can keep up the fight, and I do remember shooting down three planes with one Peace Bridge. And we can bring them in at Elite, which will definitely help out our Air Force. Yes, they're going to be shot at first, but if we use them and the F-15J in conjunction with one another, this will still be a fairly scary force to deal with. And, um, it seems that the reason why people pick the Peace Feather 2 is that there's not a whole lot of anti-tank support very much in the Planes tab. But we're actually, we're already on the end of our points, so we can't actually really spend it anywhere else. So we actually are going to go to the Vehicle tab and get something. What do we want to get? Um... The M36, uh, it's only 10 points, but it's got 1925 meter range compared to the M18, um, and it's got 3 HE power for 10 points. Kinetic round, they changed it. It used to be heat round, I think. So, yeah, we could do that, or we could supplement with like a extra Ito or a Chumat, probably more than Ito. Uh, tow 2 because we are lacking a little bit in the anti tank missile department. Let's see, we've got Schumats here. We've got fairly good tanks. So we've got a lot of armor penetration power. And we've got tow 2s. Nothing on the air. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's get these guys hardened. So that they hit more. Let's get that 3 HE power attached to a 10 point price tag. That is pretty good. Definitely good in my opinion. So let's get our usual air ta uh, navy tab decked out. Just in case we end up in a deck in a game with ships in them. 
get this. I'll put down there. And we round it out with the Etendard. Take this, delete, put there. And then put the Etendard at the end. Okay, so we have our Blue Dragons deck. Uh, this will definitely be fun to play. I haven't played with Blue Dragons for a long time, and I'm definitely looking forward to trying them out. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.